What's up everybody? My name is Brad and today I'm here for some book mail. I got a package in the mail from a fellow booktuber and it's my buddy Dan from Book Nook Noggin. I'll leave a link to his channel down in the description. He reads a lot of horror, fantasy, sci-fi, thriller, but he does a lot of comic books. Uh, so if you're into comic books, definitely check out his channel. He does a ton of comic book reviews over there. Uh, but it's been a few weeks ago now, maybe two weeks ago or more. He had on Twitter that he was parting ways with a few Star Wars books and he reached out to me because he knows I'm a huge Star Wars fan and asked if I was interested and he was kind enough to mail me some books. Uh, he sent me a picture of them. I think there's five or six books. I don't remember which ones they are now. Uh, I remember one in particular because I was really excited about that one, but I can't remember the other ones. Uh, but let's go ahead and we'll open it real quick and see what all we got in here. So we do have you know, five books here. Let's see, let's save this one for last because I'm excited about that one. All right, so let's see. I mean, all of these are uh, Legends books. So they're all before the Disney canon took place, before you know, Lucasfilm was bought by Disney. Uh, so they're not part of the new canon, if you care about that at all. I don't care. A story is still a story. It doesn't matter if it's canon anymore to me or not. Uh, we'll go ahead and start with this one. This is Darth Maul Shadowhunter by Michael Reeves. And again, I haven't read any of these except the one I'm saving for last. I read that one a really, really long time ago. Um, this one is obviously about Darth Maul. So I think these first three, they're all in the prequel era. So either right as Phantom Menace is happening or sometime before it possibly. But uh, Darth Maul, you don't know, he dies in... Phantom Menace, but his story continued on. He actually comes back in the animated series of Clone Wars and Rebels. And if you have not watched those two shows, if you think they're too kiddy and maybe too dumbed down, uh, definitely you're doing yourself a disservice. If you're a Star Wars fan, definitely check out those shows. They are some of the, especially Clone Wars, some of the best storytelling in Star Wars outside of the original trilogy movies. Um, they do start out sort of childish at first, uh, but the shows do a great job of maturing with their audience. So as the seasons progress and go along, the show gets more mature and darker, dealing with more dark themes and adult themes. They're really fantastic shows. Uh, Darth Maul has great character arcs in both of those shows. He comes back, but it's really well explained. And I really like the stuff they did with him because I was sad when they killed him in Phantom Menace because he was such a cool character and we knew basically nothing about him, but he got a really solid uh, storyline and backstory in those animated shows. Uh, so I'm excited to read more about Darth Maul. And uh, next up, we'll do this one. This is Rogue Planet by Greg Bayer. Uh, it's got Obi-Wan and young Anakin Skywalker on the cover. Uh, this one says, three years after the events of Phantom Menace, Anakin Skywalker and Jedi Knight Obi-Wan Kenobi enter, encounter a mysterious world. Uh, so this is after Phantom Menace, but before the Clone Wars would have started. Uh, so I'm looking forward to that. I do really like the prequel movies, honestly. You know, the a lot they get a lot of hate. The core story for the prequels I thought was really good, but the execution of the movies was bad. You know, there's bad CGI, bad acting, <laughs> bad script, but the story itself was really well told. I just wish someone other than George Lucas would have directed him. I like that he wrote, or at least came up with these story ideas, but he's not a great script writer, and he'll even say that himself. Uh, but I still like the core idea of the stories in the prequels, so I'd like to learn more about them. Now, this one looks like it might be part of the same series, maybe. They sort of have the same kind of cover. Uh, this one is Cloak of Deception by James Lucino. I really like James Lucino's Star Wars books. I've read Tarkin by him and Darth Plagueis, which were both great. Uh, this one has to take place before A Phantom Menace because uh, it's got Qui-Gon on the cover, and, of course, he dies in that movie. It's got uh, Chancellor Valorum and then, of course, O'Sheev Palpatine back there in the back. Um, I really like Qui-Gon Jinn. He was a really cool... Jedi, again, he was a character that died too quick. We didn't really get to know much about him. 
So it's always fun to learn more about his character for me. And then this one, this one's a really old or older Legends book. Uh, these, this series takes place way after Return of the Jedi. And this is the new Jedi Order. This one's Vector Prime by R.A. Salvatore. This is a long series, I think. It says it's 21 years after the Battle of Endor. Uh, so 20 years, 21 years after Return of the Jedi. This is like a 14 book series or so. I have not read it before. But uh, the new threat in the galaxy are these guys, the Yuuzhan Vong, and they're force resistant. So the force doesn't work on them. And they basically come in and just wreck shop in the galaxy. I would like to read this series. I know it got sort of controversial with them killing off some pretty popular characters. Um, and I'm not sure how much I, they feel more more sci-fi than Star Wars these guys do. So I'm curious if I like how they sort of play in the Star Wars universe. But I do want to read this series though. I don't know if this is the first book in the series or if it's later on. I do like that art in there with the Millennium Falcon and stuff. So yeah, Luke, you know, he's Jedi Knight and then he's married in this with Mara. Han Solo and Leia are married. They have kids. So this is a lot of the legend stuff this plays off of, but I would like to read it sometime in the future. All right, and this is last, but certainly not least. This is one I was really excited about. Uh, this is Star Wars Splinters of the Mind's Eye by Alan Dean Foster. Yeah, so the story behind this book, if you've never heard of it before, is when the original Star Wars movie came out, when it was just called Star Wars, you know, it wasn't called A New Hope yet, uh, George Lucas, he was worried that it would flop, it wouldn't do well at the box office, and he wouldn't get money to make the next movie in the trilogy that he wanted to make. He wouldn't get to continue on with the story. So when Star before Star Wars came out, he had this book written, which is the sequel to the original Star Wars. And then, of course, you know, Star Wars blew up and made bucket loads of money, and they went on to make Empire Strikes Back. But this was the original sequel before Empire Strikes Back was even a thing. Uh, this is, let's see, this is copyright. Uh, this is the first paperback edition of April 1978. Uh, this is way different than what we got in Empire Strikes Back 2. Um, I read it a long time ago. I don't remember too much. Uh, but Luke and Leia, I don't think they were brother and sister. I don't think Vader was the father. Um, Yoda's not in it at all. It's way different. They're after this crystal called the Kyber Crystal. A very different sort of alternate take on what Star Wars could have been if things had gone differently at the box office. Um, even the cover art is done by Ralph McQuarrie, who did the original concept art for Star Wars. I did read this a long time ago. This is put out by what Delray, Delray Science Fiction back in the day. I have read this a long time ago. It is different and fun. It even has uh, the Swamplands of Minbon, which if you're a Star Wars geek, that was actually the planet that the Mud Troopers were on in the new Solo movie. They went to Minbon. They pulled it from this book. Uh, so lots of cool Easter eggs and things they pulled from this. Yeah, but totally different Star Wars. If you'd like an alternate take on Star Wars, what it could have been, definitely check this book out because this is what uh, you would get from this. But yeah, I'm really pumped about that one. So thank you, Dan for sending all those along my way. I do really appreciate it, man. But before I go real quick, I do want to mention you should be watching this on Sunday, hopefully. So tomorrow on Monday, I am doing a buddy read with uh, Leslie from the Nerdy Narrative, and I believe Jay from Jay Maddox Entertainment is going to join in. Uh, we're going to be reading, starting to read Monster by Duncan Swan tomorrow on Monday. If anyone is interested in joining in, on the buddy read if you have this book and haven't started it yet um, i do have a link for my discord channel down in the description uh, we're going to be discussing the book as we read along over there on the discord so if you have this on your tbr and would like to join in reading along we can read at your own pace and then just join in on the discussion whenever you're able to definitely um, you know the more the welcome so go ahead and join the discord uh, hop on the channel uh, we talk about lots of other stuff on there as well movies, TV, a lot of food. I talk about food on there all the time. So if you'd like to you know, talk with me and chat with me and interact with me outside of just the comment section, uh, hop on over to the Discord. Hopefully the link works. 
If it doesn't, let me know and I'll do the updated link. Sometimes they expire for some reason, but it should be the permanent link down there. But hop on over there if you're interested and if you really want to join in on the buddy read, that would be awesome. I've heard great things about this book. Uh, it's sort of post-apocalyptic, Armageddon, thriller, horror, sci-fi, all mashed up together. I've heard it really is a cinematic reading experience, which is cool. So I'm really looking forward to diving into this starting on Monday. If you'd like to join in, uh, you can and hop over on the Discord to join in on the discussion. But that's all I have for you guys today. I've probably rambled on too long. Again, thanks to Dan for sending along the books. Check out his channel in the description below. Uh, but that's all I have for you guys today. So thank you for spending your time with me. Again, my name is Brad, and I'll talk to you all later. Bye.